Hello everyone, I'm Gorka here once again, and this is going to be the second part of my arcade machines. I just saw a secret as well, but I'm going to pick that up later. Anyway, uh, this is going to be our, the fourth arcade I'm going to do. I think I'm ready to go now. So, I looked back through some of my footage, which I recorded previously without commentary, because I was in a place where there was a lot of background noise. That's how I thought I was going to do the arcade at first. I ended up just redoing them now that I have a bit more calmer place to do it. And I thought I only did five. Bosch was the sick one I did, and to be honest, I literally don't remember anything about these guys. I okay. Well, we got it. They have resistance to weak and curse, as you can see, and what I was meant to do put on gear that gives me a better chance to in uh, inflict status effects and I kind of completely forgot about that. The water attack dispels, I see. You give tired as well. lower my defenses and regen yourself with that scream. That's kind of... You kind of really need to play with Weaken then. Yeah, I'm giving... Oh, that's gonna get rid of Curse though. I see. I think Weaken is way more important than Curse right now, actually. Debuff your defense and evade, it seems. Yeah. It's gonna be literally trying to kill one as fast as you possibly can, and magic defense won't go lower, huh? One would say, should I use limit breaks? I mean, they are there to be used, right? can heal, that kind of sucks. This is gonna get rid of Weaken. Well, oh, actually, this shouldn't flip Weaken, I hope. That gets rid of Karas. There's no easy way to protect yourself from uh, debuffs. That's yes, but debuffs is a little bit trickier. And I almost made it. Hey! So yeah, anyway, I am going to death actually. Just in case he counters me, like the pumpkins did, for whatever reason that happened. Let's bring you back to life. I gave Karas and almost killed you. Very nice. I could probably try and catch this next turn if I love RC bag to be honest. What if the summon is basically that attack I just saw that lowers everyone's evade? That's the weakest attack, I like that one the most. Can we lower it? We can lower it by 6, so that's kind of good. Let's do that. I mean, with all those stats down, I think this is a safe catch here. Easy. We get the boss. Yeah. 
You got Berserk? Oh. You have a Berserk of 5. But I see, that's what happens. I didn't check if they're evade but up. No, we didn't. That's fine then. We'll get Nath. Keep her alive. That is a scarest attack, actually. No, it isn't. The scarest one is Razorly. Yeah, this looks okay now. Give you auto life and heal you. You can dispel though, right? Doesn't seem like you're gonna be doing that. Since you're only concentrated on attacking right now because of Florisora. That's what happens if you kill one of them. At least now we know. So that's Limit Break. Do I use it? There's no. If I can one that's gonna come out, I'm gonna say, nah, it's gonna be easy from here. It's probably a GG. Especially if you're dry, this might kill you. Almost. I hit you with fire a few times. Of course. Act down. I'm gonna get even more pissed now. You utterly obliterate a bush. You are quite proud of this very uh, petty accomplishment. And he leaves. The beat one, what, the other two go berserk. You beat the second one, the third one gets scared. Huh? So this arcade isn't too bad. They lower your stats, uh, your defense and evade, but they're not too bad. So anyway, you can use this to cheat some secrets. Cloudberries, there was another one there. Can I touch this? No, that's just a lie. So let's see what we get in the chest. Big bush. More SP. Dinosaur egg. Increases the AP. I mean, my AP is already... A bit stacked, so I probably don't need that. And that is it for the Bosch Arcade. Let's have a look at its summon once I find it. A yeah, big one, 69. Civility so really debuffs the attack stat. But that's everyone, everyone gets minus 80. Could be useful in some situations. Probably not many, but maybe some. So anyway, that's another one of the arcades down. Uh, I'll see you when we get to the next arcade, which is just north from here, actually. Alright, welcome back again. We are now back at the next arcade. Fifth one. Let's get right into it. I am dealing with Totems this time. There's only two of them, and there's two of them for a very good reason. When I recorded this the first time, I had a terrible time. You instantly know these guys' gimmicks. I think they count every single time you attack them. It kinda sucks. Again, we they resist only half the curse and weaken. That's the only way I'm gonna win this, I think. Holy even heals them. And that's a poison attack with bug. Unleash has 120% attack. Come on. There you go. Give it some curse. You can also tire it, but again. Resist it by half. This is 140, so it's a 90% chance in theory. It's annoying because it heals them as well. 
But if I don't debuff their attack stats, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble here. You can stun as well. I And Siphon. Oh my goodness. How are those stats down? Holy shit. Yeah, I can see why this sucked ass. I mean, I don't really use summons, but I'm Siphon. I don't know if you can dispel. I guess we'll find out soon. So that's probably not elemental. You hit like a truck though. It's much better to hit with Unleash because it gives 6 turns and it's a much higher chance of hitting as well. And you're just still stuck. What should I do? You don't really have any interesting attacks, do you? I guess I can use Encore then. I guess I can just use this for now. Proceeds to die the next two turns. Another attack gives side for that sucks ass. A lemon break will still keep charging. Looks like I can keep using this. Oh no. Anish may be able to use every single turn. Anish does actually a lot of damage. Surprises me. Wow. I'm losing that a lot. But I need to weaken on you. You resist it, so it may be our after all. That stun, seriously. Oh my goodness. Oh, you get to go again, huh? This is probably fine since it's just gonna get debuffed straight away, but let's use it while we can. They're missing though. Can't lower their accuracy more than 20%, but we'll go over what we can. I mean, if he was on any lower HP, that's catchable right there. Okay, so far. I feel like I should hit you with weak. I should just hit you with... What should I hit you with? Your weakness. Not like thunder. Please don't end up massacring my human revenge. I'm not countering just yet. Okay. Should probably give you higher. Um, I lost a 10% chance. It's the last attack that gives Siphon. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the last one. Oh, he's lost the totem. Now this thing gets scary. It gets a little bit more evade, but it gets weaker. Oh. This is where this thing starts countering, doesn't it? There came a time where they just started blessing each other, and it was a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. Well, at least their attack is down for good, for now. 
tomorrow and eBay. Okay. Wow, that is bad. Since you lost a piece, you can stun two people now. Okay. Now you're scary, alright. Why? I lost the 10% again. Okay. That thing takes so much damage. We are in a safe position here though. So you need to get tired. In fact, both of you do. That'll make me feel a lot better. I should get rid of this poison, shouldn't I? I can. Epic. And we are staggered as well, okay. Now he's got- I think this is the point where every turn it starts healing, so... Yeah. This sucks. And now it resists thunder. Didn't resist thunder before. And wind, apparently. But because of Bless, you can't give it weak and curse or any of that good stuff anymore. So yeah, at this point, it's kill it. That's not good. Uh -huh. Now it gets, trip it gets three attacks in one turn. And they hit like a truck. As you can see, yeah, that hurts like hell. Oh, you gave me Siphon. That does suck. Well, anyway, I'm going for the kill. I think, with all those debuffs, I think it's safe to just go for the catch. Let's hope. 40 summon points for Totom. The other game only like 19. I think now that one is gone, we can rest easy. I think we're in the clear now. That's the worst of it. You're still in the really early phase. Doesn't stop you from constantly siphoning everyone. Alright, let's just get some more of this. Wow, you are resisting tired a lot. Finally. And now... Now we're just gonna go on offense. And it will be GG. It's strong. Now it's attacking twice. Things are looking really good though. 
Yeah, I think when I fought it the first time and it started healing that much HP, it becomes Valhalla, but you can't dispel and inflict any status effects. Oh, with all these minus 60s, it's GG for him. I should hit this and just catch it. In the last phase, you just counter by healing, which is what makes it the Valhalla, Valhalla version 2. Yeah, there's no point of trying to kill it, just catch it. Get rid of this. <laughs> That's a really easy way out of some of these fights. And something to definitely keep in mind for the arcade rush. Just catch them when they hit that low of HP, especially if it's really hard to kill them. Same goes for Phoenixes. Let's see what we get. Pet Rock. It gives heavy status. Not that I ever found the use to actually using heavy status. Makes cut foes drop more gold. Have I got the secrets in here? I think I wandered in here earlier and gathered the secrets. Yeah. They're on the walls here somewhere, I think. And maybe these lamps. Oh, actually, there is a secret. Never mind. Coffee. Any more? Alright, I guess that's it. Done with Totom. Let's see what Totom does. Is that him? No. Fully heals all currently active allies and removes any debuffs. So it's a cleanse, but it heals as well. That does sound kind of good. To be honest, I don't see a use for that, so I'm going to throw you out for now. Fully heals all currently active allies and removes any debuffs. That sounds really good. Anyway, five arcades down, one more for this video, and I'll see you there. It's the last one I recorded previously in my previous playthrough. Hello again, welcome back to the next arcade. This time we're in the factory, Lance's, Lance's Castle. There's a new area unlocked right outside, and it has the sixth arcade. We get to fight robos. These are kind of similar to... Uh, the grey pixels, I believe, where they look like they have a little bit of HP and you can kill them fast, but they have a ridiculous amount of the defenses. And weakened and tie doesn't work on them, but they have full immunity, uh, full weakness to curse, so there is that much going at least. Even though it's 60%, they don't resist it, so I have a pretty good chance to get most of them here. And there you go. Once the defenses go down... Also, it says these always land, so I don't know if buffing evade is even going to do anything here. Also, make sure they have full complete resistance to stun. I guess Confusion would be good too. Did I know they do that? And the spell sucks ass. And I gave her Guardian after all, damn it. Ah, uh, fun. And you just give Confusion straight back. Okay. This spell. I mean, I'm kind of... Oh, that's not good. I'm kind of going in blind, so... I get to see what they're doing. Like, if I fail now, I'll know I'll need to bring Confuse Resistance. I, I remember that. I need stun resistance, but confusion clearly I didn't remember. Let's hit you with water. I mean, the limit break is there to be used, right? Should we just do it? Is it even worth it? So this is 450, this is 480. I guess we'll go with this time. 
So yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Awesome. Chill. There's spell incoming. Or not. We're just gonna kill him anyway. That is good. That's also good. You're weak to bomb, I might want to use yours as well actually. Uh -huh. Limit bricks are there to be used. I'll kind of have to think about using when and where to be okay with, however. Yeah, I'm gonna try and cow. I'm not, you're gonna die. Bye bye. The thunder resistance. Oh hey, we lived everywhere, that's kinda good. Very nice. I will probably have to go and regenerate recharge my limit breaks after this fight, but that's completely fine. This arcade isn't too bad, even though they always deal critical hits, and as I say, that force my character dies, but that's fine. I'm about to bring out Lan to just smack him with bombs. Although he has no resistance to thunder, so... Let's do it anyway. Confuse sucks. Get rid of confused this time. Bump some attack here. I could give you. I can give you fire actually. Wow. Legend. Okay. All right. This is gonna kill it, isn't it? This is gonna kill it, isn't it? Wow! All I can hope for is that this robot doesn't run away. It's fighting, that's good. Right. That should be good enough to catch though. Let's get the robot. Oh. Hey. Another pretty straightforward arcade. I mean, Totems is by far the worst one if you don't know what you're doing. If you go in without the debuffs and get to the later phases, you lose. That's it. It's GG. Toaster. And the Ninja Gear Armor's here. Sun, but you have a very feminine voice. Okay. the last quest for me as well. Well, I assume in order to complete this puzzle you need to beat this crab so you can go here. I thought I could do it in this video but I guess not. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, there's a secret right there as well. Any more? Oh, okay. Any more hidden? No, it looks like that's it, so I'm gonna have to do this fight next, solve the puzzle, 
and then I'll probably see you in the next video for the last few arcades. We're halfway there. All the arcades from now on are blind. I've never seen them, never been in them. I've no idea what their fights are like, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Alright, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next video. Until then, take care! Oh right, I completely forgot. Let's have a look at a summon. Robo. Do you see Robo? Is he a shit summon? I still don't see Robo. Still don't see him. There he is. There you go. Okay, anyway, yeah, see you next time.